guys need to flipping embrace their freedom. Uh, embrace your fucking freedom. Like, I don't know what's wrong with guys, right? And you know what? I used to go through this phase as well. Yeah? I went through this phase years ago. Yeah? Like, when I was 20 years old, I used to say to myself and say to other people, like, oh, so I remember, I actually remember saying this to one of my family members when I was 20 years old. I will be worried if I don't find a woman by the age of 25. Because for me, like, I wanted to, like, find a woman when I was 25, then build up a rapport with her, even get married, but still sign the prenup. I was, I was always about the prenup, yeah? Get married, sign the prenup, whatever. Sign the prenup, get married, and then um, have a child by the age of 30, 31, 32, or whatever, in it. That's what I used to say when I was 20 years old or whatever. Really. Now, I don't give a fuck about that bullshit, man. I don't give a fuck. Fuck about that bullshit. Yes, Nadia. What's going on? I don't give a fuck about that bullshit. I don't care. Like, like too many men, right? They're young guys, right? They're like 20, 23, 24, 25, 26, 28, yeah? And they're worried about a relationship and stuff like that. But listen, guys, embrace your freedom. Yeah, there will always be women about. I know you've heard that before, but it's so fucking true. There will always be women around. Yeah. Guys should not be focused on no relationship. That is like feminine energy. Yeah. You shouldn't be fo you shouldn't be thinking about no relationship until you're like 35 years old, guys. Honestly. Yeah. Like maybe like let's say like 32, 33 or whatever. And just in my opinion, yeah, in my opinion. You shouldn't be focused on a no relationship till you're like 33 or something like that, yeah? Like, you shouldn't be, be worried about starting a family till you're like 33 or something like that, yeah? 32, 33. You're a 22-year-old guy right now, 25-year-old guy. You shouldn't be thinking about no family or nothing like that, yeah? You should be out having fun, enjoying your life, embracing your freedom, taking risks. Relationships are a distraction. Told you already in the last live stream, you know, on Saturday. Relationships are a distraction, yeah? They suck your energy away from your goals, yeah? I'm not saying if you're in a relationship, you can't achieve your goals or nothing like that, but when you're in a relationship, yeah, if you live like you got a full-time partner or whatever, full-time girlfriend or you're, you're a girl watching, she's got a full-time boyfriend living with you or whatever, yeah? There's no way, right? Unless you lock yourself in a room away from them, you can focus on doing what you need to do, yeah? They're gonna, you know, Extract your attention away. Embrace your freedom, guys, man. Stop trying to lock yourself down, man. Man, then, you're a young guy watching this. You're in your 20s. You should be out there thotting your ass around, yeah? Literally, yeah? You should be out there having fun, yeah? You should be out there having fun. Don't worry about fucking trying to get a girlfriend, trying to get a wife, yeah? Telling you, when you, when you, when you don't look for it, it comes. That's the truth, yeah? I remember before, see, look, even, look, even, even Nadia agrees, even my own girl fucking agrees, yeah? That relationships are a distraction, yeah? Before, yeah, I used to be hell-bent on finding a new girlfriend. I remember when I broke up with my ex-girlfriend, like, when I was, like, 20 years old, all I was talking about I was trying to replace her, trying to replace her, trying to replace her, like, and like that was like my main focus. But really, like I never lost focus in terms of like I was always still driven. I like, still wanted to buy properties and still passing my exams and shit like that. In it, yeah? but like that shouldn't even have been like in the back of my mind. It, it, it shouldn't. Have, I should have been like, you know what? I'm free and single to do what I want. Yeah, like I need to embrace this freedom. That's how men they need to be thinking when they're in their twenties, man. Stop trying to lock yourself down. You should be out there, literally, yeah? Thotting your ass around. Now, wear protection, use contraception, but you should be out there thotting your ass around, literally, yeah? Just don't, just don't get no girls pregnant, man. I mean, look, so, look, you're saying that a man wants to be with one woman, that's his probably, that's cool, isn't it, yeah? If a guy just wants to be with one woman, that's cool, isn't it, yeah? But, I just don't like the idea of guys going out looking for relationships. Yeah, like, 
Nah, man, you shouldn't want to be trying to lock yourself down, man. Like, I mean, like, man are like, not just they want a girlfriend, it's like they want to move in and live with a girl full time. And I'm like, nah, nah, man, you don't want to be doing that. Like I said, in the, obviously, you might have watched the replay now, Nadi, but obviously you weren't in the last live stream on Saturday, ain't it, during the day. There's man around, yeah, like next door, yeah? A man comes, goes to his missus's yard every fucking weekend. Every weekend, you know? Every weekend, the man is there, yeah? Pretty much part-time living at his girlfriend's house. The man will arrive Friday afternoon, yeah? Friday, like, man know people's patterns, you know? <laughs> man know people's patterns, yeah? A man will arrive to the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Checking up on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a man will arrive to the house at like five or six p.m. But the girlfriend has already gone out to work because she works the the night shift. He will sit in the house from five p.m. all on his own until his girl comes back from work around three a.m. Yeah, got a man know people's patterns and that, isn't it? Yeah, like. Just that alone, yeah, it's pathetic, yeah. You're a fucking man, yeah. You should be out there conquering the world, yeah. You know, I was going to say chasing the dragon, but that's to do with heroin, yeah. You should be out there trying to conquer the world, yeah. You should be focused on being the best version of yourself, utilising the time that you have on this earth. But no, you go and sit in your girlfriend's fucking living room and wait, like... A man's not even sitting there like, I don't know what a man does, yeah, but I know a man he ain't sitting there making no YouTube videos or or writing a book, yeah, two things that eventually will earn him some money. He's sitting there probably punching buttons on his, on his fucking remote control. A man should not be waiting around for a woman, yeah? A woman should be waiting around for a man, if anything, but a man should not be waiting around for a woman. Yeah, like a man's just literally just sitting there, just waiting for his girl to come back. Like, and for me, guys who spend their entire weekend with their girlfriend, week after week after week after week, yeah, no breaks in between, you know, week after week, week after week. That just shows me that a guy that does this, because lots of men do this, right? You're just showing me, or you. you you're, you're portraying that your life revolves around your girl. You're portraying that if you didn't have to work, if money wasn't an issue, if all your bills were cared for, yeah, and you, yeah, you had endless amounts of money, yeah, you would just go and sit. You would just spend every day with your girl, and it shouldn't be like that. So a man out here, if they didn't have to go to work, and they had money in their pocket, and they never needed to worry about money for whatever reason, they would spend every day with their girl. No, fam. No. Man like that, right? These are the men that kick all their friends to the curb, yeah? And, you know, they prioritise their girl over their friends. No, nah, fam. Mm -mm. You can't prioritise your girl over your friends, yeah? Because like my wise friend said, Heat, man. Yeah? I've got a wise friend, yeah? His name's Heat, man. Now my brethren, heat man said, your friends were there before your girl and your friends will be there after your girl. Yeah? Everyone can agree with this. How many boyfriends, if you're a girl watching this right now, or how many girlfriends, if you're a guy watching this right now, have you had, yeah, who came after your, fr uh, came after your friends, you broke up with that person, got with the next person, Broke up with that person and your friends are still there. Your friends will always be there. But these people that you're dating or in a relationship with, they come and go. They come and go. So there's no, you can't prioritize your 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 your, your girlfriend, your spouse, or whatever, over your friends in that, man. Man like that need to get a life, man.